Well, this video is a little bit earlier than I was supposed to be doing, but I have some things to talk about. And uh, normally when I'm doing my videos, I have to be super quiet because I'm at home or I'm walking around on the streets and people are looking at me funny. So it's nice to be in my car because I can be loud as I want and I don't care. So anyway, uh, let's talk about what's going on today. Dr. Nader writes prescriptions when you leave and gives them to you, obviously. I have them right there. And uh, he told me to go to Walmart. I'm going to Walmart right now. I first stopped at CVS and the woman was like, what, these are not even on the right prescription paper. Like we couldn't touch these. Are they from out of the country? said, yeah, where, Mexico? Yeah, we can't do anything. I said, well, is that gonna be the same with everyone? Doc the doctor I'm working with told me to go to Walmart. And she goes, maybe he has experience there, but the CVSs, they're not gonna touch them. So let's go to Walmart. I'm actually gonna say no. I don't think they're gonna get filled. Dr. Nader has had experiences with people being fine getting them filled, especially because they're not controlled substances. Uh, so I don't know, my recommendation, after the surgery with Dr. Nader, when you get in the car to go back to the US or your hotel or wherever it is, ask the driver, and I'm not even sure if you can do this, but I'm sure they'll accommodate, ask the driver to stop by a pharmacy there and try to pick them up because they are prescriptions from Mexico. So. That is my recommendation. Number two, something that I've been thinking about, um, my last procedure, I'm gonna say more than a year out, maybe even two year mark. I completely forgot about this and just remembered it the other day. I had hundreds of tiny little bumps. Now, when your hair gets thicker, you don't notice them, but under the correct lighting, and if the hair is thin enough, if you don't have any concealers in it, there are little tiny bumps. And I just, I, I remember it was my daughter or someone, I don't remember commenting on them when she was looking at them. I was like, what happened to you? And I was embarrassed by it. And then I completely forgot about it until the other day because they do go away. They went away. They appeared, I don't know how long it was after the procedure, and lasted maybe a year, I don't remember, but it was an issue that I had, and now, and then they just slowly went away to the point where by the time they were gone, I had completely forgot that they were ever there, but that is something that I experienced, I don't know if other people have experienced that as well, but if you are, in my experience, it will go away and your head will be like completely flat and smooth. I don't go to the, the barber a lot, but the times I have, I've never had any barber ever say anything about, oh wow, it looks like you had a hair transplant. So I think everything is good there. But anyway, so talking about the dots, that's done, prescriptions is done. Let's go to Walmart and I will let you know if they fill the prescription. Once again, I'm not very confident that they will. And so I'm gonna err on the side of caution and try to get filled before you leave Mexico. And just so you know what the prescriptions are, uh, minoxidil 10 milligram tablets, which you take orally, uh, one fourth a tablet every 24 hours. And so it looks like for the minoxidil oral tablets to be effective, it's 2.5 milligrams. And he writes it for 10 milligram tablets. So that's gonna save you a ton of money. And it's not a controlled substance. So you shouldn't have much of an issue getting them filled if you can go to the right place. And then the other one, let's see here. Um, no. Let's put that on autopilot so I don't have to steer. I don't know if I completely trust these cars. One time I was driving on the freeway and I was like taking a nap 
and then like my car tried ramming into another car. I grabbed the steering wheel. I don't know if it was gonna go all the way, but ever since then, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I trust you, Elon. You're smarter than I am, but anyway. And then the last one is the Finasteride one milligram tablets, which, uh, if I went back, I would ask Dr. Nader to do the five milligram tablets that you can cut into fours. So it lasts a lot longer. It's gonna save you money because one milligram is, well, obviously it's not gonna go as far and it's gonna cost more. Anyway, that's it. I'm about ready to arrive to uh, Walmart. So let's see what they say. Okay, so as expected, they would not fill the prescriptions. And I even went in there, I did what you're supposed to do. You assume the cell. You don't ask if you can fill or if they can fill them. You walk in and you say, here you go, I need these filled. And the lady looked at me funny and then walked back to a manager and she came over and she says, no, nah, we're not gonna fill these at all, which really sucks about Indiana. So my, my primary residence is actually in Utah. I have a doctor out there who's written me prescriptions for, you know, whatever. And I have never, ever got them out here in Indiana to fulfill a prescription in like the four years since I've been doing stuff out here. And I only go to Utah like, I don't know, once every couple of years. So I'm just like, I don't get any prescription that I need because Indiana, you are kind of, ah! So now that I'm off my soapbox, there is another thing I wanted to talk about. And that was, is the aloe vera gel. So we, today is the, whoa, a car pulled out in front of me. So today is the, uh, the 10, 10 day mark. And up here is still, it's, it's a little red. I mean, you can obviously, I can obviously see when I get in the mirror, I can see where all of the work was done because it's it's a red spot. It's not noticeable. My wife doesn't say anything about it. She says it looks fine. It bothers me a little bit. Aloe vera is really good for it. Dr. Nader gives you like a, a travel size bottle of aloe vera, which just does not last very long. It lasts me a little while because I was going light on it, which I should not have done. And today I decided to go into Walmart and also buy aloe vera and they don't have it there. It's like completely sold out. Everything in the world is sold out. So don't wait till the last minute, actually get the aloe vera gel and, and put it in your hair every single day and it will be less red than mine is and it will heal faster I think in my opinion now here is let's just kind of do we're stopped at the light so let's see there we go I don't know if you can see what I can't see That's basically it. 